for the last 40 years, I've been telling you I will survive. But I never told you how. It was a fun time. I will survive. Top the charts at number one. My fan base growing like wildfire. People were beginning to recognize me on the street. But that girl was lonely. Her husband was her manager. He called all the shots. I was so afraid of abandonment. I allowed myself to be controlled. Hang on, baby. It's going to be a bumpy ride. That's Gloria Gaynor. Parties. Smoking marijuana. Gloria Gaynor. Doing cocaine. Gloria felt a fist grab me in my chest and said, that's enough. And I'm going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And I realized that's what that was. That was God. 65 years old, divorced. Who am I now? I really want to inspire people with the faith that has brought me through all of the difficult times. I needed to find a manager that's willing to champion an artist that has never done gospel music before. Things that she's been through. I woke up paralyzed from the waist down. I just knew that it would become an instrumental part of this recording. I had really, really deep scars from abuse. When you grow up feeling unlovable. There was a time when I was broken. Gloria Gaynor is just kind of the poster child of people just getting through to point to what is her source of strength was just a cool idea. At first, I was afraid. Don't I would. Don't do that. Yes, ma'am. If you can dream it, you can accomplish it. To be honored like this, it inspires me to keep going with this project. So how old were you when you finally started college? 65. Age is just a number. All of those struggles make us stronger and help us to get to where we want to be, help us to do what we want to do, help us to create what we want to create, and survive and thrive.